Okay, this is Dragon of Turning, and welcome back to World of Warcraft Battle for Azeroth pre patch. Now, in the last episode, I took a look at all the changes to my characters, including a little bit of cosmetic uh, change for my main. So, in this episode, it's probably going to be very shorter than the last one. I kind of wanted to take a look at the profession stuff and the dungeon journal since I briefly explored that. Also, I guess I'm going to get this out of the way now. If I hit I, if I hit PvP, I can now see my honor level. So I've mentioned all of the stuff you can get up to honor level 500. The toys, the pets, the mounts, the titles. Have fun doing those, because I probably won't do that. As much as I would like the pets and toys and mounts and the titles, yeah, that seems like too much work. <laughs> I don't know. So, the first thing I want to show off, and I might as well... Like, go somewhere else for this, since people are around here. Tell you what, let's go to the section that no one goes to anymore! Yeah, why not? So, the thing I wanted to take a look at was in the Unlearned, because we actually have the Zandalari stuff. So... Oh no, there's people here. You know what, I'll hang out by the guy that used to give me the stuff, but now he doesn't. Yeah. So let's see, Zandalari stuff, uh, zero out of zero. So we've got armor, we've got weapons, we've got other, we've got follower equipment. Also some plans I never got. Black market auction house, good luck. I never did the, the uh, Pandaria blacksmithing stuff, did I? I guess why well, I did some of these, just I guess not all of them. Now, ah, well. Cataclysm stuff dropped from Firelands. World Vendor. World Vendor. World Vendor. Old Expedition. Okay. Russian Verdict. There's a lot of stuff I could probably pick up. Zuldrak. Atlan, Frolmar, Sunwell. You know, I tried not showing the people appearing, but it still happens. Ugh. Treasures, 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 treasures. Quests. Wait, there's quests I haven't done? Huh. Okay. And that would be classic stuff. Yeah. Good luck with that. So what was I looking for? I was looking at the Zandalari stuff, the new stuff. So I have armor, we have weapons, we have other, we have follow equipment. Uh, Storm Silver Spurs decreases mission duration by 20%. Uh, that's a lot of stuff. Should probably take a look at the new ores while I'm at it. <laughs> yeah. It's a Zandalari mining. We have uh, Storm Silver Seam, Storm Silver Deposit, Platinum Deposit, Monolite Seam, and Monolite Deposit. And there was something that I never actually did for this. Drop the sun well. Yeah, figures, figures. So, back to blacksmithing. What stuff is there? <coughs> Let's see. I'll go back from the bottom then, shall we? Uh, platinum whetstone. Increases mission success by 5%. Magnetic mining pick. Chance to bring back ore from successful missions. That sounds nice if I want to make some stuff. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, other, let's see, model, model hardened stirrups. Place stirrups onto your mount, allowing you to interact while mounted in cool terrace of Zandalar for two hours. Didn't I try to make this uh, in Legion? Or the Legion equivalent, and it didn't work? Uh, I'll see how it goes, I guess. I could make one and just see how it is. I mean, doing so far quested would speed things up, but as soon as I go into a house, it would despawn, and probably the buff despawns. Maybe they changed it, I don't know. Let's see, hoof plates. 
Increasing speed while mounted in Gildarasa's Zandalar by 20%. Sounds nice. And this thing, the thing that I am most excited for. Monolite Skeleton Key. Allows opening of locks that require up to 600 lockpicking skill. The lock picker, the lockpick is consumed in the process. Now, I have got a crap ton of laystone lockboxes from Legion. And since I don't have a rogue at max level, I cannot open those. So finally, being able to make a key again after... When was the last time we were able to make a key? Pandaria? Yeah, a, a two expansion break from making keys, we can finally make some again. Oh, it's fantastic. I'm going to make a crap ton of these. <laughs> uh, so that's going to be fun. Now let's see, weapons! Chances are I'm going to be making a weapon for myself eventually. So let's see, that's a dagger. That's a sword, a one-hand sword. That's a... a pole arm. That's a two-hand mace. Intellect, stamina. And that's claymore. So, what... Is this like compared to my artifact? Plus 3.1 damage. A level 111 green is better for the Ashbringer. Come on! Come on! That, that, that hurts. That hurts. So let's see, next step is the Honorable Combatant Spellblade. And that is the level 120 gear. So that is item level 300. A dagger is item level 300. And a one hand sword is item level 300. We've got a pole arm. We've got a one hand sword. We've got a dagger. We've got a pole arm. And we've got a deck pounder. Giggity. So that is... Yeah, that's better than the Ashbringer. <laughs> well, at least I know I can potentially make my own weapon next expansion. And I could probably make a bunch of these and sell them for money. <laughs> yeah, I just gotta farm Storm Silver Ore. Good luck. Elemental Flux. I guess that's a new Flux. What does this look like on my character? Well, it's got the horde symbol. Hmm. Pull arm. Dagger. That's got some spooky stuff on it. A saber. A spear. Is that actually a spear? Yeah, it probably is. A gutless, which actually looks pretty nice. I like the design of that. A shanker. A spell blade, which has the same model. Monol hardened claymore. Yeah, that's a Zandalari claymore. The deck pounder. The pole arm. The cutlass. Now that's a cutlass. <laughs> that would be great on a troll uh, transmog. It's a one-hand sword, so technically I could put it on the mage. <laughs> That's a fort. And the shanker. That's a shanker. Okie dokie, so... Armor. Model hardened arm guards. Are better than what I'm wearing. Yep. The waist guard... Eh, the, the legendary's still doing it. The gauntlets... Somehow the Time Forge is still doing better. The boots are better. The shield. I guess I'll never use a shield, will I? Equipped with Horde Lance. What? Uh, I guess I'm just carrying that around somewhere. Model Hardened Helm. That's better. The pauldrons are better. The greaves are better. And the breastplate is better. So that's a full monolite uh, 
or Monol said. I'm sure that would look great on a troll warrior. So let's see, honorable combatants plate gauntlets. That's not too bad. Plate arm guards. Yeah, that's alright. Storm steel shield. Hmm, that's not too bad. Honorable combatants girdle or shield. Now that's a shield. <laughs> if I ever had a class that actually used a shield, well, I could use good protection. No. Let's see. The waste guard. Looks like I'm wearing no pants. Ah, that's decent. The greaves. Quite nice. The boots. Quite nice. And finally, the epics. Oh, boy. Three, five, five. Okay, so we're going towards Cataclysm item levels now. Yeah, I believe the first tier of rating was 359, 365. So yeah, this is right in the first tier of uh, Kata in terms of item level. I... Hang on. This potent region can be obtained deeper within the dungeons of Kulturas and Zandalar. Bind on pickup. So that's essentially the blood of Sagaris of the expansion, then. Yeah. Yes, it is. Okay. That's interesting, though. Expulsum. No idea what that is. Platinum Ore. Gathered by players with the mining skill. Elemental Flux and Storm Silver Ore. Okay. So I have no idea what... Wait a minute. Why does that sell for the most? And I need 40 of those. I'm gonna get like 2k from selling just that 40. These are gonna be expensive. Fun times. And let's see. That. I'll tell you what. Bump. Eh, yeah, that looks alright. Yeah, I guess. I don't sound too keen on it. I don't know, I mean, I've got my transmog, so it's... Oh, ooh. <laughs> I love that you can just make the model do stuff with that. <laughs> so let's see. Imbued Stormsteel Leg Guards. Those are 370 compared to 355. So let's see. 55 Steel Steam... Still <laughs> Storm Silver Ore. I'm going to have to get used to saying that. 55 Platinum, 10 Flux, 25 Expulsum, and Sanguicel. What the fuck is Sanguicel? Originating from Oldia, this region is re regularly used in radical experimentation within the Cursed Facility. So this is a Raid Drop item. And it's buying on pickup. Oh no. A raid-only crafting regent? To make raid gear. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> That's gonna... sell for a lot. And let's see, finally, emblazoned storm steel leg guards. And that requires... 65... 65, 20, 35... 250! And that requires 25? How much do you think I'm going to get from old dear? Then again, I haven't actually tested out the rating, so... I have no idea how much will drop from old dear. Fun times. And the uh, same with that. Oh, that gives me a tablet thing on it. Boop. Okay. I'm really sad that they don't... They haven't made an epic uh, weapon. That'd be great to have. And sell. <laughs> uh, maybe an 8.1, 8.2, 8.3. I doubt they'll ever be an 8.4. Yeah. yeah. So that's the Legion blacksmithing and the Legion uh, mining. 
I don't know what the other professions are like. But I have a feeling it's kind of going to be the same. You have to get your regions from the skinning, the... What is it? Skinning, mining, herbalism. I feel like there's another one. Is there? I'm being an idiot. Oh, sp speaking of me being an idiot, there, there are a couple of things I can check out still. Unlearned, Zandalari cuisine. I also fishing. If I can just go to my professions. Show that, show that. Fishing skill, unlearned. Nothing. Archaeology. Just var and cultura stuff. So I'll be doing them at some point. Which reminds me. Uh, professions, archaeology, how much of the Legion stuff do I still have to do? Uh... Oh, fun times that. Let's see, I'm missing the Purple Hills of Makari, the Spirit of Ekero, and the Crystalline Eye of Undravis. Undravius. So I'll, so I'll still be doing... I just say so I'll be... twice. Oh, I'm mumbling my words here. Let's see. Two weeks will get me the Purple Hills Makari. Two weeks later, which is the BFA launch, will get me the Spirit of Ekro mount. And then two weeks after BFA launches, I'll be getting the Eye of Andravius uh, toy. So I still have to do archaeology two weeks into le two weeks into BFA. Fun times of that. Fun times of that. So what was I going to look at? I was going to look at cooking. So, what stuff do we have? We have light meals, seasoned loins. That doesn't really do anything. St stingy loins and fusaka. Okay. Grilled catfish with great sea catfish. So I guess that's one of the things we can fish up. Heart Bane Hexwurst. If you spend at least 10 seconds eating, you will be transformed into a pig-headed beast man. What? And I dropped some Ral the Gluttonous in Waycrest Manor. Why would you have that? Cursed Haunch, Meaty Haunch, Foo Soccer. Okay. Cool Till Renasu. I get... I get the pun. I get the pun. Kulturas, Tiramisu, Kulturamisu. Okay. You'll get 10 critical strike for one hour. Ah, so it's up from... Uh... 30 minutes. Gain 10 crit for... Wait a minute. That's the exact same. Gain 10 crit for one hour. Gain 10 crit for one hour. Okay. Let's see. Wildflower, Fasaka, Major's Frothy Coffee. For the adventurer with a sophisticated palate. Why is it frothy? And aromatic fish oil. Lower loaf. You get mastery. Choral honey, sugar, sugar. Oh, that sounds delicious. I still don't know about fish oil being in it, but, uh, well. Mondazi. You get versatility. Ravenberry tarts. Wild berries, choral honey. God, this is making my mouth water. Ten haste. Okay, so large meals. Honey glazed haunches. That gets you 14 crit. Sailor's pie for 14 mastery. Spiced snapper for versatility. Lane snapper. Use extract aromatic fish oil from the fish. Will be cons will this will consume the fish in the process. Swamp fish and chips. Oh, I could do fish and chips right now. Slimy macro, extract aromatic fish oil from the fish. So I guess that's how you get fish oil then. Grill catfish, get a, get aromatic fish oil. Okay, how about the feasts? Cooking fire. Bountiful captain's feast. If you spend at least 10 sec, 
so eating, you will become well fed and gain 22 in a stat for one hour. Set up a bountiful captain's feast to feed up to 35 people in your raid or party. So you need fish, fish, meat, meat, cold tiramisu, mondazi, and midnight salmon. Use teleport to the nearest fishing node in Kulturas and Zandalar. These fish are most prominent during the late hours of the day. Okay, and galley banquet. Set up a galley banquet to feed up the people you will gain 18 in a stat. So that's the better version. King of uh, Battle for Azeroth cooking 110. Battle for Azeroth cooking 50. Okay. So you need a briny fish, thick paleo steak, Tyrgod perch, sand shifter, fusuk, fusaka, fresh potato, and midnight salmon. So there's still stuff to get. Which reminds me, did I never get this? I just want I had some of these. <laughs> Fell eggs and ham. You can eat them here or there. You can eat them anywhere. Cannot be eaten in arenas or rated battlegrounds. <laughs> oh, I love that. That's stupid. How do I not have these? Maybe I did, but I lost them for some reason. Oh god, the ancient caches. I never got those. And old recipes. Roasted moon glazed tenderloins. Excuse me, I know I got this. I found this on several characters. Huh. Oh well. So that should be all of the profession stuff. Now again, there's probably stuff I'm missing for your specific profession, like leather working, there'll be some mail and leather stuff. Alchemy, there'll be some potions. Engineering, there'll be some new toys and Battle pets, probably. I could actually take a look to see if there's any. Uh, let's see. You're not collected. Source. Uh, profession. I have no idea what changed. Balthazar. Archaeology. Archaeology. I know that's a new battle pet now. Oh, the battle pet uh, coins. Doesn't actually look like there's anything, just uh, archaeology stuff. Okay. Uh, mounts? Oh, toys? Pets? I'll get right eventually. Baby Krog! Ar Archaeol. Alchemy. The horns of a Krog grow at a tremendous rate, starting almost immediately after they are born, and is among the hardest natural materials found on a living species. Well, isn't that adorable? Blood Feaster Larva? What the fuck? Alchemy. The smallest of cuts can be devastating to the species. They start to leak all over the place. Yeah, I can see why. That's, uh... That's Cataclysm. Direhorn Hatchling. I don't know if you're from Battle Fazoff or not. Enchanted Tiki Mask. Enchanting. God, I want this pet. Looks awesome. That's from Argus. And that's new Gear Spring Hopper Alchemy. Mechanical toads can hop over 7 million times before their gears begin to wear out. Lovely. Uh, that's uh, Draenor. That's Archaeology. They're just for people learned over time that when burying someone or something, that there are sadly a number of shady people looking to exhume and reanimate whatever they can find. That's uh, garrisons, and that's new. Alchemy! These creatures are able to control each arm individually, which allows them for great multitasking and the ability to give the best hugs. Daw. <laughs> I'm liking this, I'm liking this. Shame there isn't a Battle for Azov thing for that. I wonder, if I do this, Battle for Azov. Bumbles! Holy shit, a bee. Let's be friends! Uh, 
I get the pun and I hate it. Bumbles may not have been the largest bee of the millions of within the hive, but that doesn't mean he can't grow into a champion. Okay. Bob Stinger, Confusing Sting, Cyclone, Swarm of Bees! Slicing Wind and st thingy. Right, Azurite Puddle, Magne, Champions of Azeroth for Battle Pet Tokens. These drops of Azurite are powerful, are volatile and prone to explosive reactions when prodded. Lovely. Okay. Wait. Little Ben for Oh It's a little dinosaur White Brutosaurs were on the brink of extinction until some enterprising adventurers took action. Little Ben Fawn may have inherited her father's size, but definitely has a mother's temper. Ranishu Runt oh, you're terrifying. Always hungry and has a shockingly good personality. Yeah, shocking, I see you like Pikachu. Oh, that uh, one electric bug in uh, Alola. I guess battle has revealed the new ones? Okay. Abyssal Eel. When the Nog invaded Stormsong, they brought to their favorite, favorite pets Abyssal Eels. Okay. Accursed Hexer. From Nazmir. That's right, Puddle. Azariti. Oh, wait, I can actually zoom out and zoom in. A chip off the old girl's block, Azerite, is fiercely protective and will strike out against anyone wishing to do her mother harm. Now, is your mother Azeroth or like a big elemental? Let's see. But all! Now, much is known about this otherworldly minion. I suspect it will be a shop item or a secret discovery one. Barnacle Hermit Grab. Stormzong Valley. Barry Hermit, Zildazar, Balfang Skitterer. God, you're creepy. Silver dust sparkling on each of the spider's legs to track prey and wittingly drawn into an unescapable web. Blood Feaster Lara. Exceptionally squishy, especially after rig meal. Blood Fever Tarantula. Didn't say zoom out on that fucker. Nazmir, pet battle. Are completely harmless to trolls, the animal life within Nazmir fear these creatures. Understandably so. Blue flitter, so pretty you could eat it, but don't, it's poisonous. That reminds me of the blue butterfly from Final Fantasy XIV. Bog hopper. How many bogs has it hopped? No one knows. Bumbles. Carnivorous lasher. Feed me, Seymour. These horrific flesh-eating plant promises it can make all of your wildest dreams come true if you feed it. Child of Jani. The scavenger lower thinks you can teach this sword a thing or two, just don't lose sight of your coin purse. Coastal Bounder. A quite annoying species. No matter how high you build your walls, these creatures still manage to hop over. Okay. Coastal Scuttler. The purple coloration helps the species blend into the rocks and shadows, but the crabs become easy prey for seagulls. When they linger till too long on the open sand, you're missing an O in that too. Coraline Falcon. Yeah, that's a falcon. Coraline Falcons are trained from birth to be scouts and fighting companions. The few sped from the Heart's Bane curse. The what? Serve the Order of Flames in the same capacity. Okay. God, there's a lot to look at. <laughs> Kopa. He is a real trooper, faithfully tagging along with Kojo for years. He enjoys hide-and-seek as well as some serious shell sliding. Okay. Crimson Frog. The frog's peculiar red colour appears to have evolved specifically for camouflage and blood. Spooky. Dread Tick Lasher. That's, that's a mount. That's horrifying. Get down. Stop flying. Remind me of the bloody face huggers. The dread ticks have grown to be a very invasive and dominant species wherever they wind up. They are incredibly quick to assault new species. Until they find a weakness to exploit. Okay. Dressful piglet. You're adorable. 
as Piglet avoided being turned into sausage at the hands of Roland with the help of a cunning spider. Oh, it's a Charlotte's Web reference. Well then. Elusive Skimmer. Water skimmers use a tension of water and long, hydrophobic legs to help them walk along the water surface. Felclaw Masul, you're... You're from Argus. Why are you here? Francis Cottontail, Dressvar. This red-nosed bunny is incredibly soft to the touch. Just watch your fingers. Oh. Freshwater crawler. The hermit crab Stormsong Valley will use what whatever they can. Whatever whatever they can find, life fits them for their shell. If it fits, they sits. <laughs> oh, you're adding memes, Blizz. You're adding memes. Freshwater pincher, you're pink. Finding freshwater pearls with this crab by your side will be a pinch. Ugh. Giant woodworm. The giant woodworm can bury you into almost any surface they call on, except solid stone. Gutted bleeder. Or gluted bleeder. Apply directly to the forehead. I'd rather not. Golden beetle. Many ancient tribes have eared these enormous beetles. I don't. Great Wing Macaw. Best not park your mount beneath this one. Okay. Hermit Crab. When you're a hoarder, but well, want to stay on the move. Oh yeah, you take your house with you. Honeybee! Oh, so this is just a random pet battle then. It is rumoured that these honeybees can detect the pollen of a newly blossomed plant in Northern Stormsong Valley, but they're all the way down in Drustvar. Okay. Inland Croker. The mucus secreted from inland croakers is so sensitive for repelling water, the shipbuilders of Kulturas have been using it in the wood sealant for many years. Okay. Leafy Butterfly, you... You're butterfree. Well, I guess if you were a blower, you'd be butterfree, but still. When perched on a tree, the species can be almost invisible to any prey. Okay. Little Ben Fawn. Yeah, I've talked about that one. Lil Dika. Most predators favor the soft parts of their prey to attack first. Lil Dika prefers to go for the face. Okay. Mechanical Prairie Dog. This adorable mass of whirlers, cogs, and sprockets wasn't assembled in no Morgan. Where then? Oh, Mimi! How to keep a mummy. The mummy's wraps serve two purposes. One to being to keep everything inside intact. The other to lessen the fright of people seeing what's really below the wrappings. Okay. God, that reminds me of the how to look after your pet mummy anime. Nightmare Triant, you're... Not from Balfazov. Parasitic Boarfly. The sting of Ra Ravenger Rosp can cause intense pain for up to three hours. Consult a physician, a physician immediately if stung. Okay. Ranishu Runt. Always hungry and has a shockingly good personality. Return to Hatchling. A Terran life, a Terran death. Okay. River Frog. The River Frog of Somersong Valley have been known to try to hypnotize people by staring directly into their eyes and making a low rumbling noise. Tell you what I'll do real quick. Yeah, change out the whispers. River Otter. River Otters start growing whiskers at a very young age and never stop. By the time they are fully grown and reach old age, they have more whiskers on their face than any other known creature. Cute. Sand Stinger Wasp. It is a well-established fact that wasps produce ha far higher quality honey than bees. Well established in very, very small circles of wasp farmers. Why would you farm wasps? Wasps are assholes. Sandback crawler, sandyback crawler. The sandyback crawlers get their name from having a slightly sticky outer shell that sand sticks to as they walk around. Sorrowless catchling. Why don't you an adorable little thing? They are so cute before they develop razor sharp teeth and venom. Yeah. Star Breeze Bumblebee. 
These hardy bees form the backbone of a great honey and meat industry. For decades, the Tide Sages forbade anyone from taking them outside of Storm Song. Until now. Shack Crab. Shack Crabs are the only species of family crabs known to regenerate limbs if torn off in battle. Okay. Shatterback Crawler. Even the toughest of crabs, if the toughest of shells, can succumb to the dark mysteries of the shadows. So it's a void creature. Okay. Sure, butterfly. Butterflies taste with their feet. I tried it once, but I only made a mess. Now you remind me of Butterfree a bit. Actually, no, you remind me of the blue butterfly from FF14. Smoochums is a ghost cat. Smoochums lived life in Gwenblue. In Glenbrook. It was full of people to play with and places to sleep and oh, so where unspeakable acts happen at the most innocent of tea parties. Oh god, what happened to you? Spectral Raven. Suddenly there came a tapping. Sticky Oozling. It's a repulsive creature and no one should want this. Well, I need a thousand unique pets, so I'll have to get it. Son of Dayhorn, you're not from Battle of Azeroth. You're from Grassfang Wilds. Uh, Swamp Toad. These toads do not appreciate having their legs pulled off. I don't think any creature would. Tiny Diahorn. A popular pet among children, despite frequent accidental gorings. Well, you gotta teach your kids eventually. Track the Curious. Kragwa reluctantly sent to Trag to the Talanji expedition with the hope that they could find someone suitable to escort him on a tour of Azeroth. Okay. Vale Varmit. Vale Marmit. Oh, thanks. Uh, <laughs> am I on D&D &D in Discord? Uh... How do I change it? <laughs> Let's see. What am I looking for? What am I looking for? Use settings. No. You'd think I know how to do this. There we go. Do not disturb. <sighs> okay, okay. Veil Marmot. Veil Marmots are very quick on their feet and are masters of digging holes for their burrows. Children like to chase them around and try to pop them on the head when they poke the head out to catch some sunlight. Oh no. Valley Chicken! Stormsong Valley. Long ago, with the population of chickens, Stormsong Valley was so high, there was fear that the chickens would eat all of the corn from the fields and leave the other residents hungry. Well, there's a way to cure that. I like chicken tonight. Young Sand Sifter. This species looks through, looks through the sand for the buried remains of rotting creatures. It keeps our beaches clean. And finally, Zandalari Shin Chomper. No to chomp on the shins of everything from swords to brutosaurs. I feel like I had Zandalari stuff before. Uh, yeah, I did. These are from uh, uh, Pandaria. So we get a fifth color ring. Let's see, it has. Oh, you have to choose between Black Claw and Hunting Party. That's bullshit. Well, it has a rip, I guess. Aura of Gonk. What the hell? Gain an Aura of Gonk. Causing your pets to heal for six every time they deal damage for four rounds. This damage is increased by 100% if your pet is below 50 HP. Okay. The user is healed for 100% of the damage dealt. That's an interesting thing. Now, if I remember correctly, I hope... There was a pet where you have to have a million gold on you. Question is, which one is it? I do not know. I'll be taking a look through this, though. No, 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 no. Treasure Goblin. I will find this creature. Island Expeditions. Ooh. Okay, that's a new one. Now expeditions, teeny tiny, teeny titan orb. Drop Mecha of Miserable. 
Constructs designed to assist the Titans with sundry small tasks. This example is oddly small. Teeny Titan Orb, let's go! Okay. Tap Tap. Tap Tap is loyal beyond a doubt, as long as food is provided. Quest Tap Tap the Pig. Okay. I'm still looking for the pet lap you have to have a million for. Spawn of Merekfa. Yeah, that's Temple of Sephiroth's Mythic. Ooh. If we can cage that, then that's going to sell for a bit. Snort? Animal Expeditions. Snapper, Animal Expeditions. So snips! On a level 400. Uh, Silver Pig, recruit a friend. Shadow, Chakra. Bumblebee. What would it be called? I know it's a chicken. Scuttle! And expeditions. <laughs> it's carrying some beer. Oh, you poor thing. You poor creature. I could just look for flying. Yeah, that might help a bit. But I guess this is helping me look at new ones. Rage Beak. Rage Peep. You get a little Moonkin pet. Aw. Poro, you're new. Poro cannot fly, but enjoys a long lifespan hopping along the ground and shaking the fruits and trees. And Poda. What are you? Coda was just a small part of a larger business, always trying to live up to the standards of his older brother, Coda. I feel like that's a reference to something, but I don't know what. Froskins from Island Expeditions. Bandaran Monk in Game Shop. Panic Club, Collector's Edition. Octopode Fry. Island Expeditions. Wait. A baby octopode is technically referred to as a squish. <laughs> Woomy. God, where is this thing? It's gotta be around here somewhere. But I don't know what. Mischievous Zephyr, Mischief, Mini 4, Mimi, Mechanax. Lost Platysaur, that go that's gonna cost you 100k. Oh god. And the sad thing is I'm tempted to get it. But I gotta save up for stuff. The war machine. Faction the honor bound. Okay. Little Tika, little Siege Tower, little Ragnos, little KT, little Deathwing, little Ben Farm, Legion of Murky. God, there's gotta be here somewhere. No. 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 Wait, Inky. It's got a new eye patch. Aw, Alex Expeditions. Whatever the story of this mysterious eye patch is, he's not talking. Okay. Natchling, Honeybee, Hippogrifatchling, Harfy, Hates Bark, Christy Grimmar, Gale Stuff, Guardian Cobra. Wait, that's new. My Hungry Neighbor. A newly hatched cobra can be just as deadly as a vulgar one, if not more. Grunty, Grimlock, uh, Danel, Graves, Golden Pig, Golden Fang. I feel like I've gone through all of them by now, but I still don't know where the thing is. Ugh, it's gotta be right at the top, isn't it? Ah, Francois! There we go! Sheesh! Francois, a pompous member of the Bokois. The Bokoisie. Oh god, it's bourgeoisie. <sighs> Whose wealth and influence was born from the exploita exploitation and labor of the Peckle Terriot? So yeah, this this the silky chicken. Whose head kind of reminds me of uh, Mara from Persona. He is in Tiriscar Sound. And if you have one million gold on you, he will give you an egg which gives you this pet. 
You need one million gold in your bags. He will not take the money, but you need the money in your bags. Or he will do nothing. So luckily, I've got about 1.3 million. So whenever I find this fucking chicken, I'll be able to do it. I won't be able to do it on the Alliance character, but uh, whenever I get round to the Warfronts, I'll be able to get to it. What do want come? War campaign. Fosrock. Foul Feather, Filthy Slime, Fetish Shaman. Oh, Diablo Free. Anything new that I missed? False Knuckle Bump. Allen Expeditions. Uh, Living Spore, Enchanted Tiki Mask, Just for a Piglet. That creepy thing. Death for Trashling. Oh, that's the whole. You need to do challenge mode back in mop. I never did that. Dart! It seems you've made a friend! This young Krogling was rescued from a vicious blood troll war camp. With care and lots of feeding, you earned his trust, and Kragwa asked you to take care of him, anyways. Okay. Kinds of Frog, Crown Claw, Crack of Kid, Crackers. Goodbye. Cold Light surf, surf Runner, you're new. And Expeditions. Okay. Curse the Scuttler, Curse the Bounder, Child of Johnny, Sassy Garf, Captain. Well. Undead Monkey! Captain Nibs was once the leader of an ill fated sea voyage of slightly too smart for their own good monkeys, like quickly capsized. Okay. Bucket shell. Brutus, I'm get you eventually. You're the 400 toy mount. Uh, mount? 400 toy pet. Right, Paul. In game shop. Bugger. Put some tunneler. So there's a lot of new pets. Barnaby. A wealthy pirate captain met with a strange man on the docks of an unknown city and bartered for everlasting life for his faithful companion. As with most monkey related wishes, something went wrong. Yeah, I can see why. I can see what went wrong. Bananas, Big Winston, Big Cack, Ball. Yeah, that's creepy. That's ready, that's right, Puddle, Argy, Ultra Brown Pup. Startling. Yeah, you're from the Rafi Islands one. So that's all the pets. And then, toys, well. There's about three things of toys to get. I'll, I'll figure out which ones I can get for questing, which ones take rep, which ones take gallon expeditions, which one takes the res in the Rafi Highlands, and... Yeah, I'll see about getting them. I will get 400 toys. It's just going to take a bit. What if there's a 450 toy achievement coming soon? Or 500? They don't even have 500 toys in the game yet. Yet. Okay, I guess I should probably end this soon. I haven't even done the thing that I wanted to do. Which was to look at the bloody dungeon journal. I'll have to be a video on its own. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, any... Well, I know there's a bunch. Let's see, let's get rid of some of these first. Any ones I can look at before I end this? No. Yes. Only a handful of the giant bats remain in the Rafi Islands, carefully raised by the river bark forest trolls who first brought them here. So you can have a bet. You can have a pet. Why can I say this? You can have a bat mount. There we go. I wonder if I can still do this quest. I'll find out. No, nothing, nothing. Uh, go for all of those. Uh, you're new. The Underrot Mythic. The eternal twilight of the Underrot has robbed this cog of all pigmentation. Okay. Twilight Avenger. That's Island Expeditions. King Dazar. That's essentially the Collector's Edition Horde Mount. But uh, different coloring. And probably undead. These fierce beasts, this, these fierce beasts, are entombed alongside kings, so they may carry their masters through the afterlife. 
Okay. Terrified pack mule and Dristvar. On expeditions. I dropped from Murafi. And expeditions with Squawks. I'll be hopefully getting that in two weeks. Galleon. Sharkbait. Freehold Mythic. Sharkbait's, lo Sharkbait's loyalty lies for whomever keeps the crackers coming. Snarred Builder. Shackle the Zill. Keisho's Eternal Hound. You can finally get a Quillen mount. That isn't the Pandaria Collector's Edition. Okay. I don't have any flies, though. Pihar Torsa, 400 Exalted Reputations. And I still need to do that. That's 500 go 500,000. That's the same as the bloody Lightforge Warframe. I'll be purchasing that after I get the 4 million gold amount. Or alternatively, I could save up gold on my Alliance character and maybe get it. I'll tell you what, I'll buy this after I get Ducky. Uh, Glory of the Wartorn Hero. I still haven't got me on head. Mighty Caravan Brutusword. A 5 million gold auctioneer amount. I'm saving up for this. Let's see, anything else I'm missing? Overseer Cricks. Nazmir! Leaping Vein Seeker. Bug Spray and a Hat of Netting aren't going to do much in the swamps of Nazmir. Bring a club. I'll be bringing an Ashbringer, how's that sound? Trinket, I'll never get you. Black Hand. Time Walking, I'm working towards the Time Walking. Shalanga. Anything you? I can never get this mount, and it kind of pisses me off. Clive the Legion. Fishing. Are you new? Great Sea Ray, yeah, you're new. So, a new thing to get from fishing. Garak. Durana Raider, Storm Song, 350 mounts, Durano Hero, a Horde of Hoofbeats. I believe you're the 400 mounts achievement. Not worth it. Unless you want the fell stuff for your Warlock. Archimand Mythic, Golden. Oh. So that's how you buy one. Orphaned during the routed Blood Trolls, this Blood Swarmer has been retrained. Right, that's an uh, interruption later. Often during the route of the Blood Trolls, this Blood Swarmer has been retrained by Talanji's Pandlers. So that's an exalted mount. Time walking, Valdoon. Oh, I can get a hyena. These resilient scavengers can survive for months in the waste of Valdoon with scarce access to food and water. Old content. Good luck getting this. Good luck getting that. And that. Final expeditions, you get a Yeti. Great. Conqueror of Azeroth. You get that. Cobalt Pterodax, Andalari Empire. Ooh. So that's another flying mount. Challenge Warlord. Not getting that. So, Arafi Islands, another horse mount. Nothing there, no. No. Oh, wait. Glory to all the Raider. This Korg was left alone to feast on Cahoon's corrupted blood and rot. He was so happy. Okay. Mad Merchant. Two million. I might look into getting that after I get the auctioneer amount. But only after. Let's see. Glow Generator for the Horde. I still haven't got this yet. Heart shaped box. Does it belong to Daisy? No, no. So these are the only new ones? I guess... Uh... Alabaster Hyena. Voldunai exalted. These hyena were used by the Voldunai to move quickly unseen throughout the lands. Okay. And then those are all of the old stuff. Uh-huh. Okay, so I think I'll cut this here, because 
I've been going on for about an hour just rambling through professions and pets and toys and mounts. <laughs> So yeah, I will end this episode here. This has been Dragon of Journey going through more World of Warcraft Battle for Azeroth pre-patch in this episode. I I could have sat down. <laughs> in this episode, I talked about the profession stuff and I took a look at all the pets and toys and mounts I'll be trying to get next expansion. Well, not next expansion. It's currently this expansion, but it's going to take a month for the main content to get released. I'm rambling. So yeah, next episode, I will actually take a look at the bloody dungeon journal. And the raid dungeon, or the, and the raid journal. Because, yeah, new dungeons and new raids and stuff. Brain trust. Increase the shield block value by... Wait, shield block? Uh, okay. Raid quest legacy... 280 set, 280 set. I guess I'll be looking into those when I, whenever I get 280. Yeah. So anyway, I put the dungeon journal and the raid journal to take a look at. Interesting that they haven't released the second raid yet, so they haven't released information about the second raid yet. So this is like Nighthold, where it's not going to be released till 8.1. Yeah, well, that's, that's not a bad thing. That isn't a bad thing. Oh, well, you know, some info would be nice. So yeah, I guess with that, I will end my rambling here. And with that, viewers, until next time.